Hi yogis and welcome to class. I am Emily. This is a flow that is designed for those days when you want to move just in a slightly softer way, but you still want to get that feeling of having moved your entire body. So we will move and flow in a very fluid and quite gentle way. For this class, you're going to need a strap or some sort of a scarf or maybe something stiff like a rod of some kind. But uh, so go and grab that and we'll meet in child's pose when you're ready. Bring your knees wide, as wide as the mat, and let your big toes come to touch. Climb your hands forward and rest your forehead down to the mat. If you feel more comfortable with your arms resting back, go ahead and let them do that. And from here, just really sink into this child's pose. Let your hips become heavy and start to engage with your breath. Let your inhales travel from your sitting bones to the top of your head and almost all the way out into each one of your fingertips. And let your exhale ground your hips even further down and lifting your navel up towards the spine, finding that engagement of your lower core. And I really encourage you to keep that engagement. Really take a moment here to squeeze into that lower core. Lifting it, squeezing it. Keep breathing. This is a great way to activate those muscles and really wake them up and then keep them awake throughout this class. Next inhale, press your fingertips down and lift your gaze towards your hands. Inhale, come to all fours and as you exhale, sit back towards your heels and grab hold of your strap. We're gonna do something that is most commonly known as shoulder flossing. So grab hold of your strap or your scarf, whatever you have, and most likely you will have a distance that is just slightly wider than your shoulders, but this is to totally up to you. Maybe you need a, a lot wider distance or you can keep it shorter. The shorter distance you have here, the harder it's going to be. So I'll go for this distance today. Engage your lower core and with your inhale, bring your shoulders up and really lift them up. So don't try to keep them down, but lift your shoulders up. And then as you exhale, drop your arms all the way down to the back and try to keep your arms straight. Inhale, lift it all the way back up and exhale forward. Inhale, up and over, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. A couple of more, really work into those shoulders. And if you feel that there is like a spot that is extra tight. Usually for me it's like somewhere around here. You can stop here and really floss it out, kind of wiggle it. And then exhale down. So this is very, you need to move with you intuitively into your body and feel how your shoulders work and how, what they need at this exact moment. Inhale, stay at the top and when you're here just drop your right arm to the right and let your left arm point straight up and then from here it's like you're making a big circle just circle your uh, left arm down and then let your right arm come up and you bring in both straight up and then drop them down to the right over to the left and back so it's like really getting all the way into the, that shoulder socket and then we change direction all the way up. This is great mobility work for your shoulders and also a great way to get your stiff shoulders. That most people have quite stiff shoulders from working by the computer, driving the car. So this is a great way to just really get them going and get some mobility in there, Slap is, strap is slapping me in the face. Inhale to the top and exhale, let your strap go. Move it to the side, shake your shoulders out. And then inhale, clasp your hands and press your palms 
up towards me. Inhale, press your palms to the ceiling. And as you exhale, just drop your hands over to the right. Keep weight down through your left hip. So you really have like heaviness through the left hip and pressing your palms away from your body. Inhale back to center and exhale, leaning over to the left. Maybe you can gaze up under your right armpit. Once more each side, inhale, press your palms up. Exhale, drop it to the right. Back to center with the inhale, exhale to the left. Back to center, inhale, press your palms up, exhale, keep that press and just press your palms away from your body. Keep it going and all the way down. Uh, relax, shake it out. Place your palms on your thighs, sit tall, inhale and exhale, drop your head to the right, gaze up, inhale, and as you inhale, find a little bit of heaviness in your left shoulder, and exhale, drop your chin to your chest, and roll your head all the way over to the left, inhale, gazing up, exhale, rolling down, over to the right, gaze up, inhale, exhale, down, and over, exhale, couple of more, once more to the left, and once more over to the right, and exhale to center, inhale, lift your head, and exhale, come to all fours, shake your ankles out, if you were sitting on your ankles, they might be a bit happy of getting that relief now. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, engage your core deeply, tuck your toes and with your inhales, drop your belly to the mat, lift your gaze, draw your shoulder blades together to squeeze your chest in between your shoulders and at the same time sit back, so stick your sitting bones out as much as you can to the back and as you exhale, rounding forward, gaze towards the navel, press the mat away, inhale, sit back, and exhale, rounding forward. Inhale, see if you can go just a tiny bit deeper each time. Find a little bit more expansion each time. Exhale, sit back. No, inhale, sit back. Exhale, moving forward. Once more. Sit, sit back. And once more forward. Find a neutral spine, inhale, and with your exhale, lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Just pedal out your, your feet, your legs, bending one knee at a time. Adjust your stance so you have the right distance between your hands and your feet. Maybe sway your hips a bit from side to side. And then find stillness in your downward facing dog. Press the mat away through your fingers, widen between your shoulder blades and try to turn your arms so that your triceps are rolling down towards the mat. Lift your sitting bones high, core is deeply engaged. Inhale, come high up onto your toes and with your exhale drop both of your heels over to the right side. Stick your butt out to the right and come high up onto your left fingertips and really sink it down. See if you, how much length can you find on your left side body. Inhale it back to center, high up onto your toes and exhale, drop your heels to the left. Come to your right fingertips, stick your butt out to the left. Sink it down and really squeeze into your left waist and see how much openness you can find on your right side. Inhale it back to center, exhale, drop both of your heels down. Inhale, come high up onto your toes, gaze towards your navel, round your spine and roll like a big way forward all the way to high plank. Exhale, drop your knees, your chin and your chest to the mat. Inhale, roll forward, untuck your toes, or see, actually keep your toes tucked, but slide your forearms forward, palms facing down towards the mat. 
Make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders and inhale. Kind of draw your hands back towards your body and at the same time draw your shoulder blades together and press your chest in between your shoulders. Gaze forward, inhale. With your exhale, activate your toes, press your forearms down and lift your body up towards a forearm plank. Let's stay here for three, two, one. Your legs are active, drop it down. Inhale, Sphinx Pose, chest is forward. Exhale, forearm plank. For three, two, one. Drop it down. Inhale, Sphinx Pose. Last one. This is the only one we do, so keep it going. Hold for three, two, one. Tuck the tail. Exhale. Sphinx pose, lift it up with the inhale. Exhale, slide your hands back underneath your shoulders. Toes are tucked, engage your legs. And exhale, press yourself all the way back up high plank. And all the way to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your right leg up and back. Bend the knee and open the hip and lift your right knee up towards the ceiling, keeping your right shoulder pressing down. And from here, just make a couple of big circles with your right knee one direction, then switch it out to the other direction. Inhale, exhale. Next inhale, lift the knee back up towards the ceiling and exhale, gaze in between your hands, draw your right knee to your chest, come high up onto your left toes and place your right foot in between your hands, um, lower the back knee, untuck your toes, inhale, sweep your arms up, Anjanasana, sinking it down into the hips. With the exhale, inhale, really stretch tall, and exhale, place your fingertips on the inside of your right foot and heel toe your right foot just one tiny bit out towards the right. Inhale, lift your chest to the front of the mat, and exhale, Straighten your right leg, toes to the ceiling, bending over your right leg into some little modified half Hanuman. Inhale, shift it forward, sink the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, sitting back, pressing firmly down through your right heel. Inhale, forward. Exhale, sit back. Great work. Inhale it forward. Exhale back. Next inhale, plant your left palm down to the mat and sweep your right arm up, inhale. And as you exhale, just circle your right arm, big circles around, working into your right shoulder. A Couple of more, once more, and sweep your right arm up towards the ceiling and exhale, cactus your right arm, really lean into your back body, squeeze between your shoulder blades. Inhale, right arm straight up, tuck your right left toes, engage your core, come all the way up, and then let your right hand find the back of your left thigh. Inhale to sweep your left arm all the way up. Inhale, exhale, plant your left palm back down where it came from, right arm sweeps up, and lift your left knee up off the mat. Inhale, gaze up towards your right hand. And with your exhale, turn all your toes to the right side, coming to the pink toe edge of your right foot. So make sure that you can see you're into the sole of your right foot. Maybe heel toe your right foot just a tiny bit more towards the center of the mat. Exhale, dropping the hips down. And inhale, sweep your right arm up and over, lifting the hip. Exhale down. Inhale, up and over. Exhale it down. Inhale, up and over. Once more down, inhale. Exhale, inhale, up and over. Gaze down towards your left hand. Plant your right palm. Come to your left toes and step your right foot back. High plank. Inhale, weight forward. Exhale, knees, chin, chest, all the way down. Inhale. Just sliding into a little cobra, lifting the chest, 
squeeze between the shoulder blades and exhale press your hips back to child's pose great work a couple of breaths here return to the engagement of your lower core return to the presence with your breath next inhale brings you forward into all fours inhale drop your <laughs> belly to the mat sink it back exhale rounding forward inhale sit back and exhale forward inhale sit back once more exhale rounding forward come to neutral spine inhale exhale lift your hips to downward facing dog adjusting your distance and maybe finding stillness straight away press the mat away lift your hips engage your core inhale come high up onto your toes exhale drop your heels to the left come up to the, your right fingertips and really squeeze your left waist opening up the right side body inhale back to center heels are high exhale heels to the right turn down to the left fingertips sticking the butt out to the right see how much space you can breathe into your left side inhale it back to center exhale sinking your hips down downward facing dog inhale roll it forward gaze towards the navel round the spine rolling all the way to high plank lowering your knees chin and chest and the entire body sliding your forearms forward keeping your toes tucked engage your back body inhale shoulder blades draw together chest presses in between your shoulders lift your gaze exhale come to your low forearm plank for three two one dropping it down and inhale for space exhale forearm plank for three two one dropping it down last one inhale exhale forearm plank for three two one dropping it down inhale sphinx pose exhale sliding your hands back and pressing all the way up and back to downward facing dog return to your breath and let your next inhale sweep your left leg up and back bend the knee open the hip and then find your big circles with your left leg circling it out really work into your left hip then switching directions remember lower core super engaged and the next inhale lifts your left knee up and back and exhale gaze in between your hands left knee draws towards the chest high up onto your right toes placing your left foot in between the hands lowering your right knee down inhale arm sweep up exhale sink deep draw your shoulder blades down draw them together inhale stretch tall exhale fingertips to the inside of your left foot heel toe it one tiny bit out lift the chest with the inhale exhale straighten your left leg toes to the ceiling press firmly down through the left toe folding in inhale snuggle forward lift the chest exhale glide it back inhale forward and exhale to glide back once more forward inhale and exhale back next inhale come forward plant your right palm down sweep your left arm up towards the ceiling and then start circling it out big circles with your left arm working into the shoulder or getting into every little tiny corner of that shoulder inhale left arm sweeps up and exhale cactus the arm really squeeze your shoulder blades together and open the chest to the left inhale left arm up make sure your right toes are tucked engage your core and lift all the way up 
left fingertips to the back of your right thigh and right arm sweeps up and over. Really find length from your right thigh to your right fingertips. Inhale, exhale it all the way down. Right palm lands, left fingertips to the ceiling, lifting your right knee up off the mat. And with the exhale, turn all toes to the left. Come to pinky toe edge of both foot feet and then heel toe your left foot, maybe a tiny bit in towards the center of the mat. Exhale, lowering your hips. Inhale, sweep your left arm up and over, lift the hip. Exhale, and inhale it up. Exhale, inhale to lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, lower. Last one. Lift it up, inhale, and turn, planting both palms to the mat, stepping your left foot back, high plank, inhale, exhale, drop your knees, chin, chest, sliding forward with an inhale, untuck your toes for cobra, exhale, pressing it all the way up and back to downward facing dog. No, downward to child's pose, sorry. So this was a short and sweet little flow, including a little bit of everything. Perfect for days when you want to move, when you want to send some extra love to your body. But maybe there is, for any, some reason, you just want to keep it just a tiny bit softer. Thank you so much for practicing with me today and I hope to see you soon again. Take any kind of Shavasana that you like. I encourage you to either stay in this child's pose or go to a regular Shavasana for at least five minutes. Take care. Namaste.